So we started working through some of the most important stock market rules last week and the lies Wall Street tells investors that end up losing your money. This week I've got another investing myth that is going to blow your mind. The truth about this stock market lie will change the way you invest. It'll help you worry less about your money and give you the confidence that you'll be beating your investing goals. I call this one the stock market game. Wall Street has made the rules and tells you every day you have to play it to reach your financial goals. But it's a rigged game and you can't win playing by their rules. I'm going to show you the truth about this stock market game and how to win it playing by your rules. Joseph Hogue with another video on Let's Talk Money, your channel for beating debt, making more money and making your money work for you. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here with us. I know you're going to love this video. I love uncovering the truth on these investing lies made up by Wall Street and the analyst community. I was a big part of that community for a long time, analyzing stocks for big money venture capital firms and banks. I've seen the tricks they play that line their pockets and empty yours, and I love being able to help regular investors meet their goals. Today's video is going to smash that stock market game, the game Wall Street wants you to play. This is the game that tells you to always be looking for that perfect investment, that you need to be buying and selling at the right time. This is the investing game that says you have to time the market to avoid a stock market crash. So why does Wall Street lie to you on this stock market rule? Now, there's a common theme behind a lot of these stock market rules and the lies that Wall Street tells. It's money. Wall Street, that's the analysts, the brokers, even some of the advisors, all make money when you play this stock market game. The more you think you need their help to play the game, the more you pay in fees, commissions and analysis. But can you win this game, the stock market game of buying and selling stocks? And I like to use an analogy here with the stock market game. Imagine two very different tennis players, one professional and one amateur. Okay, I'm the amateur. When the professional is playing a tournament, she knows she needs to make those spectacular shots to win. She not only needs uh, to keep the ball in play, but she has to hit those shots that make her opponent miss. She can't play it safe. Now on the other hand, when my wife and I play tennis, it's a completely different game. My wife knows the secret to winning isn't by taking those risky shots to make me miss. I do all the missing by myself, believe me. My wife knows that she just has to avoid making the big mistakes herself. She knows I'll eventually beat myself by playing like John McEnroe or something. So my wife always beats me at tennis because I'm playing the wrong game. I'm trying to play the professional's game instead of playing by my rules. It's the exact same thing in investing. Very few of us have the time or the experience to play that professional's game, trying to time the market, pick stocks and beat the indexes. In fact, it's up for debate whether the professionals can even do this very well themselves. So when you try to play that professional's game of stock market investing, you lose faster than I can hit the tennis ball over the bleachers. You're going to be buying and selling constantly, uh, you'll be spending hours reading and watching analysis, and you'll pay thousands in commission. That's the game Wall Street wants you to play. Those are the stock market rules and they're totally rigged against you. Instead, play the stock market game like an amateur. Keep your money in play and concentrate on not making the big mistakes that foul you out. So here are three stock market rules that are going to help you win the game your way instead of being sucked into the professional's game. First, investing is just as much about how you invest as it is what you invest in. Splitting your money up into different assets, these stocks, bonds and real estate is much more important than what the individual investments you pick within those assets or the stocks you pick for your portfolio. Now almost all investors have heard about diversification. But how much do you really have in bonds and real estate? It's like budgeting. We all know we should do it, but few people actually do. I'm going to leave a link to a description below uh, to an article about age based asset allocation. Now this article is going to help you decide how much of your wealth to invest in these three major asset classes, how to get that diversification for your portfolio. It's easier than you might think. You can buy funds that hold hundreds of bonds, giving you instant diversification in the asset class. You don't need to buy individual bonds. Uh, same thing in real estate. You can buy shares of real estate investment trusts or REITs that hold hundreds of properties and trade just like stocks. I also like pure loan investing and real estate crowdfunding for these two asset classes, uh, but that's a subject for another video. Now our next stock market rule is easier said than done, keeping those fees and commissions low. 
I say it's easier said than done because investors love to buy and sell stocks. It's too easy to get wrapped up in what you think is the next hot stock tip or freak out over a little drop in your investment. Did you know the average investor makes 88 stock trades a year according to Fidelity? That's a minimum of $800 in fees even on the cheapest online stock platforms. If you saved that $800 every year and made 7% on it, you'd have over $35,000 in just 20 years. Now that's just off what you were paying on fees. To help save you money on fees, use a strategy I call the core satellite strategy. This is where you put most of your money, I'd say about 65 or 70% in exchange traded funds. You can find funds that charge less than a tenth of a percent in annual fees and you won't be tempted to sell them because the grouping of hundreds of stocks won't really be affected much by any single company. Most online investing platforms are even going to have a list of funds that you can buy commission free. If you still want to buy some individual stocks, pick a handful of companies you can hold for decades and put that re the rest of that 30 or 35% of your portfolio in them. We're talking large companies with solid businesses that are going to be around forever. So you've got that core of your portfolio that's broadly invested in funds and that's going to smooth out your market returns uh, when stocks crash or when maybe some of these uh, individual companies that you put your 30% of your money in don't do so well. Finally here, and this is one investing rule I'm always amazed people don't take advantage of. Get all the free money you can by maxing out your IRA and 401k match every year. With an individual retirement account or an IRA, you get huge tax savings. With a regular IRA, you get to take that money off your income in the year that you make the deposit, so you save immediately on your taxes. Now with a Roth IRA, you can actually, which can actually be a better choice for a lot of investors, you get a tax-free income in retirement. You don't get that immediate deduction, uh, but you never pay taxes on the money you make off of your investment. A 401k plan can be even better. If your employer offers a match, usually something like they'll match your contributions by 50% up to 6% of your salary, that's absolutely free money. If they're matching your contributions by 50%, that's like an instant return on your investment, and it's higher than any return you'll ever get picking stocks. So next time you're watching CNBC or clicking to your favorite investing blog, ask yourself, whose stock market game am I really playing? By what stock market rules are you playing, uh, by, by Wall Street's or by yours? Remember to click through for that link for the age-based investing guide, save on fees by investing in funds, and get all the free money you can for, from investing. I'm here every Monday through Wednesday with a new video tip on beating debt, making money, and making your money work for you. Uh, please consider clicking the subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. If you've got a question about money, subscribe to the channel and go to mystockmarketbasics.com ask and I'll answer it on a future video.